Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome to the second episode of the fifth season of Reassembly! And guess what? We have a name for our species. Our species has evolved and found a theme. Thanks to the best community ever. I'm sorry, we have the best community ever. I think there was like 400 messages on the first episode of this. 400 messages! That's crazy of people that want to participate and want to contribute to this Let's Play. And I am just absolutely amazed and I love you guys so much. It was incredible to read through all of the comments. And honestly, if I could choose everybody, I would, but I can't. So, um, what we've done is I've taken, well, during the, hang on, while we're doing this, let's hunt. Uh, oh, <gasps> flies! Uh, okay. I, I don't know where they came from. Oh no, they're, they're ours. Oh, crazy. Hold on, hold on. Oh yes, and somebody reminded me, yes, if you hold the, uh, do the tab button, do the command thing, you can actually go uh, and go click on them and then you can steal their layout. <laughs> and and we'll, we'll, we'll steal that one, why not? Uh, uh, we're gonna get rid of the scythe though. I don't know why we have the scythe anymore. Hold on, I don't know what happened there. What happened? Hold on, go to command mode. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of the scythe because that is obsolete, especially now that we have a theme for our species. We'll keep the scarab for now, but we're probably going to modify it. Okay, so um, during one of the seasons of my reassembly series, one of, one of the other seasons, um, I talked about doing the Sentinels at some point, Season uh, uh, the uh, Faction 7, and doing a bird theme. Now, somebody called me on that. Uh, it was Santa Goomba pointed out that I had promised that I would do a bird theme. Well, I, it's got to be more than just a bird theme because, you know, we get a little bit more exotic in our tastes in this game. I'm, I'm, I am hunting. I'm not really finding anything. I don't want to go too far because I'm babbling. But uh, so, and then somebody else had mentioned, uh, Newer Seal actually mentioned raptors. And I thought, oh, cool idea. So a raptor is not only a type of bird, it's actually a type of dinosaur. And I thought, what about like prehistoric kind of birds so raptors it fits raptors awesome so thank you Nur seal and paul hirsch actually also mentioned uh birds too as well and then uh nerdsoft also mentioned the void because i you know I was saying last time these guys kind of remind me you know like they're they're like the bentuzi from homeworld you know they're kind of mysterious they're they're like defenders and so i kind of see them as kind of the void like the void so what about the void raptors void raptors i love it so prehistoric birds from a mysterious place in the void space i love it i love it so much so let's change the name of the fleet right away <laughs> i absolutely love it the void raptors and i will show you some pictures of what i was thinking <laughs> hold on the void raptors Tours. And just so that we make sure that everybody gets credit for this, uh, Noor Seal mentioned Raptors. Sumo Child 64 mentioned the Voidlings, which I thought was pretty good, pretty close to the Void. And Nerdsoft, the Void. Uh, Paul Hirsch, Birds, Santa Goomba, Birds as well. So there we go, the Void Raptors. Okay, and I also have a name for our first ship, but before we do that, let's uh, let's pause this and <laughs> click out and go to a web page. Why would we do that? Okay, so first off, Prehistoric birds. Oh, some awesome ideas here. Look at this. So there's like, there's the, the dodos. There's like, you know, birds with teeth, right? Birds with horns. Birds with crazy, stupid things like, like on their nose. But look at the teeth. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I love it. I love it. So that's kind of how I picture these guys, but kind of spacefaring and mysterious, you know, the Oh, look at that. Oh, fantastic. Claws and wings and so much fun. We can have so much artistic fun with this. Okay, so excellent. And our first creature is going to be the Archaeopteryx. Yes, I, I did. I did. I actually spent a minute to try and make sure I pronounced that correctly. It is one of the first feathered dinosaurs and it was part of the transition between dinosaurs and avians. So, I, I don't know, it totally fits as our first name for our first ship, which is kind of like the beginning, the beginning, beginning of the void. The raptors have arrived. Ooh, ah, plants, we got plants. Oh man, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Well, we'll take this station. Hey, I wonder if we can just push that station away from the plants. Actually, that'd be a great idea. But before we do that, Let's change the name, not the Ripper. That's ridiculous. Now, let's see if I can pronounce, or uh, spell this right. The Arcaopteryx? I 
No, 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 no. Oh, so close, so close. Opterix, hold on. Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx. <laughs> the Archaeopteryx! Uh, can, never can spell it again, but uh, it sure is an awesome name. All right, so this is the beginning. The beginning. We have arrived, and we shall conquer all. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I think they'd be more like, we have arrived, and we shall hold the void. Kind of like the Pentuzi, right? I don't know if you guys ever played Homeworld, but uh, awesome game. If you've never played it, I'm just trying to see if we can push the station, you know, to a fairly or a relatively safe area. I, it's it's a little heavy though. <laughs> um, uh, ooh, we can kind of spin it. Oh, it's, it was a other really cool idea. Uh oh, we're stuck. We're officially stuck. Hold on, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Oh, it's because we're in command mode. Ah, blast. Uh, I'm still, you know, what is it? Like, fifth seasons, five seasons, and I'm still doing that. I am still forgetting I'm in command mode. That's so funny. We are out of command mode, right? Pilot mode. Right. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I'm having trouble steering. Oh, yeah, and when it comes to the blades in the front, oh, man, they they actually work really well. Especially when, uh, oh, here, let's go down. What? Hold on. I changed my controls here. Cursor rotates, absolute control, no. Cursor rotates. There we go, that's what I want. Ooh, lots of plants, look at them. All right, watch this. We're gonna cut through it. Oh, it didn't work this time. Oh, weird. I, I was messing around with it a little bit, and uh, I was finding that the blades work really well at destroying. Yeah. Um, I was actually slicing through stuff pretty well. Uh, before I started the video, it's funny that it's not working as well now. It's weird, it must be because I'm running into things that are not asteroid related or something. I don't know. Um, either way, um, look at how much damage this guy's taking. He's, he's not going down. It's awesome. The Archaeopteryx is actually a nice sturdy little first design. But we need to go make some money so that we can start building our new designs. Because we're late, um, I was hoping to have more videos already done. And, well, more gameplay done so that we had more of our fleet built for the up and coming tournament, which is actually like less than two weeks away now. Oh man, it's it's coming really fast. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to dedicate more time to reassembly than other things. So we need to make some money. And right now we're sitting at uh, 2388 social credits. Let's see if we can upgrade. Okay, yeah, we can do a couple upgrades. I really want to get the Obliterator, which is 24,000, and I want to understand it a little bit better. Actually, let's just take a quick look at it. So it is, it does 2,000 points of damage per discharge. Wow. Range 1,800. Energy 300. Charge time 3 seconds, so it is kind of slow. Minimum charge 1.5 seconds. Oh, so it's like a burst laser. You can do a half charge or whatever. Splash damage. Turret speed. 57 degrees per second. Wow, is that ever slow? So to put that in perspective, compared to the Annihilator, the, the Annihilator is at 344 degrees per second. That means it will turn almost entirely around in about a second. Whereas the Obliterator would take uh, one, two, three, four, five, six seconds to turn all the way around. It is super slow, but it might be good for a first strike weapon. Um, kind of like the nuke, it's a good first strike weapon. <laughs> Um, but I, I want to unlock it anyway because I, I don't know. Like I said, we're not we're not in this to win it. We're in it to have a lot of fun and cause people uh, to go what? <laughs> and see, we can knock out some of these asteroid chunks, okay? But we can't really slice through it. That's okay. I, you know, I'm not dedicating too much of our. T oh yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Except I get stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> the Void Raptors have arrived. Let's go make some money. All right. Uh, let's go south. Let's head towards, yeah, uh, except there's, there's plants down here, but that's okay. And we need to get a factory going too as well, so that we can start building ships. That is one of our guys. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, cause, uh, so it's interesting, like, which types of ships just appear. Even if I have no ships, uh, you know, in my queue, like ships will just randomly appear. So the, so yeah, this is the one that's on the uh, on the trailer. Yeah, the the dragonfly or whatever it is. That's pretty cool. Doesn't fit with the theme though, guys. Come on. <laughs> oh man. Okay, come on. We gotta get. We gotta get some money. Sorry, I'm leaving friendly space now. So hopefully, uh, we got we got uh, two factories. We'll go capture those, or two stations. We'll go capture those. Excellent. 
Excellent. I love these little these little doobobs. Yeah, they're they're pretty awesome. The little missile defense or whatever they are. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And, and it's like we're activating ancient centers of power. Alright. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, another thing. If we go to bindings and we go and we change our Goss guns to ripple fire. Apparently, they're pretty awesome ripple fire. Look at that! Pretty much fires non-stop. That is great! Actually, it might be really good against the plants, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't... It doesn't... Yeah. Oh! Oh! What the... Was that a nuke? What was that? That was... That was crazy. That must have been a nuke. You know what? We need to get nukes. <laughs> nukes would solve the plant problem. You know what? It's it's like it's like using being an exterminator. Yeah, these guys have nudes. It, it's like a, a, an exterminator with dynamite. <laughs> you know, it, it, you hear about your plant problem, ma'am. Oh, look at this. Ooh, uh, these are. Oh, right. We're still in the center of the map. That's right. Hold on. Let's take a look. Right. I thought this was like. Look at all the agents. Oh, cool. So we've got Emp. We've got uh, Immortal. We've got Boodigs. Dartnix, uh, Loiter Kid, uh, Iosep, uh, Noya, and Kara. Let me know if any of these names ring a bell to anybody who's actually watching the, the, the series, because it would be pretty cool if, if, if we intercepted some of your ships in, our, in this game. That would be pretty neat. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble here. I think either a big missile ship right now. Uh oh, no, no, no. Come on, come on. We need to get away. Oh, at least we were built at a nice pace, too, actually. The plants are, are not really what I'm hoping to fight right now. We are getting a few points, but... Oh, big Aldervan. Well, he's not an Aldervan. He's crystalline. Big crystalline. Get him. Get him, boys! He's actually... Uh, yeah, there's no way. Yeah, uh, Jesus. Uh, we'll never get through that armor with those Goss guns. I mean, we need to have a lot more Goss guns. Or nukes. Uh, hold on. How much is the nukes? 24, uh, so they're both 24,000. That's crazy. Uh, is there any other way for us to make money here? Oh, Harvester's a good idea. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, thing is, we're surrounded by such big bad guys because, of course, the Void Raptors start in the most dangerous area of space because we have been awakened. And we may be small now, but we shall grow. We shall change. We shall find our true self and conquer. A little much? I don't know. A little bit more Bentuzi, a little less insectoids. <laughs> uh, ah, sorry, I'm having trouble uh, driving this because it doesn't have any. It doesn't have a lot of engines actually. It's it's got a quite a few in the back, but nothing really to help it steer. So it doesn't steer all that great. Okay, uh, I think we'll try going east because. I think south is kind of... It's, it's just too crazy. Okay, so there's some more crystalline guys here. Yeah, I need to add some turning thrusters to this. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, nice! Oh, nice! Did you get him? No. I'm just here for sport. Ah, ramming? Oh, ramming might be good against these guys. I, I just don't think... I think we're... We've, we've got... Here, if we look at our design here, actually... A major design flaw with the Archaeoteryx. Uh, it is a transitional being, so of course there is no armor protecting, of course, the soft bits on the inside. So maybe we should uh, add just a little bit of armor? Can we quickly... Is there a... Oh, that, actually, that's kind of cool. That looks neat. Ah, very cool. Ooh, I like that. Except it doesn't... It's not symmetrical. Dang it! <laughs> uh, oh, uh, what about some spikes in there? Oh, there we go. Can we uh, match the other side? That'd be pretty cool. If not, um, that's okay. Oh, there we go. Ah, it's still not symmetrical. Not perfectly symmetrical. And somebody was pointing out my engines, which are not perfectly symmetrical. And uh, we could actually... No, I think we'll go with that right now. It's good. We just need to make some money. So let's see if we can find... Oh, <gasps> plants. Plants are good. Oh, man. Looks like he's got uh, that armor. He's got a, it's all front armor. He's got. I see. It's, it's like an obtainium, but different. Ah, here we go. Plants. Oh, quit taking my. 
Problem is, by the time I see the bad guys, I have to turn around and use my, uh, there we go. To use my cutters, to use my blades, I have to be perfectly aimed at them. <laughs> it's tricky. Uh, I, I, I don't mind the cutters, like, um, but you really have to, you have to have a, a very specific kind of ship, I think, to run it. Oh, here we go. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Get away. And actually, the armor on these these guys are pretty good, actually. I'm pretty impressed. I, I, I'm really flying terribly, like I'm a drunk driver. Like, it's terrible. <laughs> but I'm doing quite well. I always forget about the... Yeah, oh, there we go. Ramming, I think, in combination with... Uh, with guns and stuff is a pretty good idea. Okay, I am really not flying well. It's been a hard week. <laughs> okay, let's unload. Still... Still okay. See, that that's why I'm saying this armor is very forgiving. If we were facing, like, some Faction 4 dudes or something, like, somebody... Like, agents? Agents would crush us right now. There we go. Nice. Nice! Yeah, if we can get... Wow, that was awesome. Hold on, let's see if we can do that again. Like, actually ramming and just... Yes, yes, yes! Oh, no, no, no. Turn around, turn around! Ah, man. Uh, you really, so you don't need a lot of speed, but you do need some. There we go. So it doesn't take a lot. And you can actually destroy uh, asteroids, whatever. It doesn't matter. You just need a decent amount of speed. And I'm not sure what's exact, exactly stopping us when we start pushing through. In other words, I think it's because we're trying to turn at the same time. I think we've got to stay perfectly straight when we're going through things. In other words... Yeah, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, turn! There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Actually, we're making some decent money here. Doing pretty good. We need to get some more storage space and those harvesters. Yes, we need those harvesters on us too, because uh, they will help gather all this juicy loot. <laughs> yes, it just used loot and juicy in the sentence. That's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, I think we can take him. Take him. We're small. We're small, but we're vicious. Get him! Nom, 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 nom. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we did get him. Okay. Awesome. Whoa. 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 Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got a full load here. There we go. Whew, that was close. That was super close. All right, so we should have more than enough to do a couple more adjustments here. Uh, we have the harvester now. Now the harvester will work like the other harvesters, I'm sure, where it will grab stuff at further distances from us, and we'll just keep those on the outside. I think that's a good idea. And actually, I'm going to make a few more serious modifications. Be right back. Okay, there we go. So, I <laughs> uh, wanted to sort of start to change it more towards a bird theme and trying to get those wings right, at least with these particular types of blocks, was a little bit tricky, but this is a transitional thing and that's about the most I want to modify the look of the arc Archaeopteryx. Arch Archaeopteryx. Um, I don't want to modify the look too much of the Archaeopteryx because it is one of the initial, you know, creatures of our race, and of course, it is what it is, right? So, uh, it is a little over on P, so we'll have to fix that right away. I think we have enough. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, right here, it looks a little bit, you know, aquatic, 
And then when we change it, so let's see if we can upgrade our PNF. Oh yeah, no problem at all. There we go, should have more than enough. So now this will start to give it a little bit more of that avian look. Yeah, look at that. So it's, I even got, uh, you know, like the little claws here on the side. Oh, I like it. I like it. And more missiles, more missiles. I wanted to do more goss, but for this, for the first iteration of our species creature, um, or the second iteration of our species creature, I, I just wanted to go more, yeah, old school missiles. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, look at that. Excellent. All right, let's go raise some, uh, let's go raise some hell. I'm not even sure what I'm shooting at, but he seems to know what he's shooting at. Oh, there we go. <laughs> let's zoom out a little bit. All right, so let's go, let's go this way. There is a station over here, and I think we tried to get that one earlier, but we couldn't get it. I think the missiles are the way to go. With a little guy like this, yeah, missiles are the way to go for sure. Right, and we've got, oh yes. Oh yes, well let's see if we can take this guy down with missiles alone. I don't know. I don't know, hold on. Something's wrong with my bindings. Oh, left mouse button, I don't know why that's not working. Oh, power, oh, we have no power. That would be why. Alright, let's take the station. Yeah, all those missiles? Uh, oh, we have the station. There's another station over here that we don't have. Right. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that one. <laughs> we'll worry about that one in a minute. Uh, where did that big guy go? Did we get him? Oh no, here he is. Still up in here somewhere. There he is. Okay, so we need to make a quick modification to the Archaeopteryx. Arch I'm gonna get faster at saying that, but it is tricky right now. We need to add a power generator. Is there such a thing? Hold on, upgrade. Reactor, okay, so 2700 for the reactor, oh, okay. Yeah, we can't afford that right now. Uh, until that time, we don't have enough power to run all these missile launchers, that's really unfortunate. Oh man, okay. Well, actually we can run the missile launchers. Barely, but that's it. <laughs> we can't run anything else on this machine. So, really the Gauss guns are quite useless until we get that piece figured out. No, don't get... Oh, man. Didn't mean to get that close. Oh, we got a nice big blob of goodies from us, too. All right, let's go see if we can't uh, take him out. I think we can do it with just the missiles. I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. We are transitioning from prehistoric dinosaur to avians. To avians of the sky, of the space, space and time, void. Okay, not too close, not too close, not too close. Okay, uh, let's target him. No, wait, no, 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 get out of there, get. Okay, let's try one more time. I think we can take him. I think it's just a matter of uh, <laughs> getting the right distance. I, w I wasn't paying, I mean, I was paying attention. Of course I was paying attention. <laughs> It's not like I'm doing math or anything while I'm doing this. I'm paying attention, but I'm not uh, I'm not doing the right thing here. Let's see if we can do this. I'm biting off more than we can chew, but he's got all of our goodies right now. Okay, let's, let's do this. Not so close. Why are we so close? I think that's my problem. That's why we're having trouble. We've got to stay out of range of those plasmas. Those plasmas are brutal. Wish we could strafe. We didn't put any strafing engines on. I was going to put more engines on in general, but there just wasn't enough... Uh, wasn't enough P to do that. Yeah, if we could get a, a nuke. One nuke would solve this problem. <laughs> Why are we not targeted? Why is it not targeted? Ah, uh, target. Hold on. There is a way to target. Thing is, we can't... Oh, this is why we would need absolute control, cursor control. Here we go. Uh, absolute cursor. There we go. So we can still drive. Ah! Why am I not moving? Because <laughs> you're changing controls in the middle of a fight. Ah, oh, we can do this. He's got so many points on him now. We, we've got to take him down. We've got to take him down. This is not the ship to take him down. For some reason... Okay, so we're getting too close. That's, that's half of our battle. Okay, why is that? All oh, right, absolute control. There we go. Absolute cursor control. That's why I wasn't moving because this control setup is a little bit weird. Right. So when I when I hit the S button, I actually go down. Like I go down. If I hit the 
Uh, so you can see, you can actually see which direction the engines want to go on the screen. So when I go push W, it goes straight up. When I push S, it goes straight down. But it, and the cursor doesn't affect... No, it affects the direction I'm facing, but not the, the engine. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. That's way too complex. <laughs> uh, if I had a, gr if I had a, if I had uh, something that had engines facing all four directions evenly, it would be amazing. Yeah, I think we just lost all those points. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So we need. What, the problem is, here's the thing. We are in the center of the galaxy. Everything around us is extremely dangerous. Now, uh, all things considered, I'd say, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good race to be in the center because it's it's just generally tough but until you get some points and get nukes and stuff like that it is it is it is uh it's probably it's quite challenging i mean it's more challenging than you know starting on the edge as faction one or something no 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 turn 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 promise when we turn we have nothing on our backside that okay what we're gonna do actually <laughs> go 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 <laughs> okay, we are going to... I wonder, if, should we change? No, not command mode. What we're going to do is we're going to go to bindings. And we're going to change missiles from right mouse button to auto fire. Yes, there we go. I wonder if that would work better. No, not auto fire. No, 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 no. Point, point defense. Hold on, let's try that again. Because point defense should just automatically target target anything that comes near me, right? Um, so if I'm trying to turn around and go another direction, of course we, our cursor isn't going to be on the bad guy. So that's the downside. So there we go. The missiles are firing. We are turned around. We are still firing at the bad guy that we want. Oh, that's great. Okay, so perfect. Problem is these missiles don't do an enormous amount of damage. Okay. It's kind of a problem. But I, I don't mind them firing all the time. I think that that's okay, having them fire all the time. <laughs> Let's get the station. This will help. Look at all that money! Money, money, money. Oh, awesome. We need a lot of money this time. Probably more money than we've ever needed in this game uh, for the Sentinels because they have huge weapons of mass destruction that cost an enormous amount. Excellent. Um, the missiles are actually pretty cool. They're they're a little wonky, like they're but they're fast. They're faster than the crystalline missiles in general. Uh, I think I can stab this guy. Stab him. Stabby! Oh, 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 that was awesome! Right through him. That was great. Look through the board. I love it. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay, away we go. Oh, let's see if we can do that again. With the really big guys, we can totally do that, but we gotta, you know, we gotta be, we gotta be targeted. Go at it at the right angle. So these guys would go down pretty good if I got the right angle on them. Ah, oh, that was great. We need to build a ship with, with a, uh, with a factory though. So that we can start... I thought we might, the problem is, oh yeah, he's got a fast firing plasma or something on there. That's why. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. These plants are actually producing a fair amount of goodies. Let's, uh, let's go collect some goodies. I'm trying to avoid the big guys here. I'm trying to be a big fish, but I'm still a small fish. That's a problem. I'm trying to be a big bird, but we're a small bird. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, and the key when you're small is to just, you know, kind of like, kind of like spore. The first evolution stage of spore, where you just. You're collecting bits and you're avoiding the big guys, right? I'm not really avoiding the big guys. I'm I'm thinking I'm bigger than I am. I'm actually quite small in a big pond. So we should just be collecting what we can and moving away like that. Perfect. That was awesome. I like having those missiles auto fire. Oh, I see what happened. Hold on. Bindings. Oh no, they're still on lipple. Lipple? <laughs> lipple. We're still on nipple fire. Uh, nipple fire is still fine, but uh, we don't have the power to run it because of all of these missile launchers. So, you know, if we're going to be a missile ship, let's be a missile ship. 
you know, let's let's not beat around the bush with this. I, I like the Gauss guns. Don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get mad at me for taking off the Gauss guns. But um, let's be a missile ship. You know, I, I think we can be really effective as a very small missile ship. At least this ship can. The furry missiles. <laughs> so uh, let's put... I wonder, does it cost less if you only get the one launcher? So let's let's just test this out. Hold on. So when I put this on, oh wow, so 67. Yeah, I think I think it's actually pretty inefficient to only put on one side one missile, right? Because it still costs 67 if even if you only get the one missile. Oh, so that's that's actually pretty ineffective. All right, so uh, just give me a sec. I'm gonna make a couple more changes here. We actually got rid of the Gus Goss guns entirely and uh, it replaced a couple of those missiles that were in the center with the, we had some missiles that were just kind of like they were they were in the in the center like that and I they still cost the same but you only get one missile out of them right so uh, I think it's way better and way more effective to have your missiles uh, fully intact like that so there we go and I, I snuck in a few engines here and there too so it should turn a little bit better um, don't worry we are gonna do a ship with Gauss guns but it's not this ship I think this ship is just you know like we're learning right no we're learning so and that should give us a few more missiles and less uh, less power usage and more turning capability yes yes look at all those missiles oh, I love it I love it. I don't want to fall into the Aldrovan trap where we have only missiles, though. <laughs> um, we definitely want to get into some other types of weaponry, but for now, for our size, the missiles, the missiles are a good, good compensation for our size because we're we're quite small right now. So there we go. Uh, the problem is with that point defensing, it's okay, except I can't. Yeah, it, it's no, ah, no, no. Get away, get away, get away. Go, 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 go. Now, I wonder if I can cut through that guy. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's uh, let's go sell first. There we go. We okay. Let's see if we can cut. Oh, yikes! Wow, they're attacking the stations. <gasps> That's not good. Under attack! Under attack! Get away! Get away! Um, stabbing them is really the only thing that we can do to maybe beat them. What if they? Can they kill that station? I, I probably. I would think so. Losing stations right now? That's not good. Oh. Well, the station survived somehow. Uh, miraculously. Alright, let's get in there. Let's stab him. Stab him from behind. Show him what we're made of. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Ah, we hit something. Oh, man. Problem with the whole stabbing thing is that you can't hit anything like we ran into something in space that's that's not good and it slowed us down so much that we it's weird because you'd think the little stabby things would would destroy everything in its path right but they don't uh no 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 we just can't get enough speed no nope. we're done no 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 oh ah i will i will return okay yeah, I don't know. These guys are tough, man. Oh, goodies. Mmm, yummy. Yum, 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 yummy. Okay, go sell this stuff first. <laughs> We're actually making pretty good money, believe it or not. Um, it's, I, we have a long way to go to be uh, to have a fleet, uh, tournament-ready fleet. But uh, you know, this ship is actually coming along quite nicely. I actually really like it. It's it's outmatched around here for sure. And the missiles. Uh, see, that's the downside. You know, point defense. You, you have no control over, the, over where they go. Oh, we could have just rammed them. We should have. I keep forgetting that we've got that. Oh, man. Okay. Ah! But, you know, like I said, this race is pretty forgiving. For, we're getting away most times from our stupidity. Uh, yeah, so those missiles point to fence. The problem is they're, take, they're attacking other missiles. <laughs> so, I mean, that's good, right? It is good, but ultimately... Okay, here we go. Oh, we took out a chunk. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Nice! Nice! One more stab. I stab at thee. I stab at thee! Oh, no. I turned. <laughs> Accidentally, that's okay. He's running. He's still got a couple main guns in there, but I think I think we've got him now. There we go. Oh, nice! Beautiful shot! Oh, that was brilliant. We, I think we are officially at war with the Crystallines, though. Look at them. They're coming at us hard. Oh! <gasps> Oh, they sent out the big one! Oh no! Oh no! Um, <laughs> we need more ships. We need better ships. We need bigger ships. Oh, stab! Not good enough. Fly away! Oh, he bounced us away. That's good. Okay, go, 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 go! I'd love to get that stuff there, but uh, I just need to get away. We. Oh, we lost our station. Man, that was that was actually a great fight. That was going quite well. The stabbing thing is awesome. It is. It is like the, the I-win tactic for the smaller ships. I absolutely love that. That is great. We're up to 5172's P. Oh, which means we can unlock uh, a couple things, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. Um, I'd like to start building our, our next ship, our next transitional ship into becoming avian. <gasps> oh, I thought maybe I could, no, no, that's okay. That's okay. When I don't have anything in my hold, I'm definitely braver. When I've got a full hold, I'm not that brave. <laughs> not gonna lie to you, I'm not that brave. Those harvesters are awesome, by the way. They, we were able to get stuff at quite a distance. Maybe we didn't lose that station. I think we lost that station, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Ah. Sorry, I don't know why I flew right back there. I just thought maybe... Yeah. I thought a lot of things. And all I'm doing is feeding them. We're giving them more and more resources to play with. Stop that! Stop doing that. Okay, I think we're ready to do an upgrade here. <laughs> or start building our next ship. So this was the uh, Archaeopteryx. 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 And I like it. And I, I'm pretty happy with it. It'll make a nice addition to the fleet um, during the tournaments. It's It's got some missiles and it's got some stabby things. So let's start working on ship number two. have it form over function that's the motto of the day <laughs> it's fun. it looks i think it looks kind of cool it's even got some eyes and i think it looks pretty neat so uh form wise like the way it looks it looks pretty cool function i have no idea this thing is 4828 p it's all because of these goss guns i'm i'm putting a lot of faith in these goss guns uh this thing's actually quite expensive uh for what it is it's actually going to be much smaller than i think it should be but yeah so uh, again we're going oh right i can't yeah i can't do that oh man see that's the thing if you want the blades in front they have to be in front anything else in the way will stop them from doing their job so uh, see they should almost be right close together but i wanted to kind of give like a beaky kind of horny kind of beaky thing in the front um stabby but you know beak like kind of at the same time i don't know i i i i i don't know and okay so here's your i i have a job for you guys i need now i need a name for this ship and i want you to keep in mind that our theme is void raptors so something to do to either do with the void uh dinosaurs birds 
or raptors, like velociraptors, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so anyway, but, in, you know, we got wings here. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, slowly start to get into doing better and better wings for the species too as well. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't, we can't actually build it right now, but um, uh, it looks, oh, it looks different than what I expected. But it, this guy has got all those Goss guns. So I'm putting a lot of faith in those Goss guns. You guys told me they're really good. So I'm kind of hoping it will be. Now, uh, how much P do I have? How, how big of a ship can I actually build right now? 28, 27. So we need to, we need to make a lot more money before we can, uh, before we can actually build that ship, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> but, you know, I wanted to build a ship. I wanted to build, I, I, I really like this ship. This, this is actually a really great little ship. If I ever get good at pronouncing it, oh, I tell ya.